you ready to discover the eerie side of Hollywood? Welcome to our fascinating journey as we uncover 50 strange, behind-the-scenes moments from Hollywood's iconic history that'll make you question what really goes on in Hollywood. Let's uncover the unseen secrets of Hollywood's history together. Number 50. American Sweetheart Sandra D. Ah, Sandra D, queen of teens in the 60s. Her marriage to pop idol Bobby Darin hit the rocks, leading to a divorce. Slow down, it's Sunday, like so ball, let it fall in your lap. However, there's a catch to Sandra D's story that unveils the darker side of fame and fortune. In the book Dream Lovers, their son, Dodd Mitchell Darren, reveals the dark secrets of Sandra's past, including the haunting experiences of childhood abuse and her battle with anorexia, drugs, and alcohol. Number 49. Myrna Loy, Hollywood's Queen Her personal life remained a well-guarded secret. As someone who was extremely private, she carefully removed several letters from the archival papers she left at Boston University. But one thing we do know about Myrna is her incredible passion for political activism. But there's a secret about Myrna Loy's career that will surprise you. During World War II, she tirelessly campaigned for relief efforts and later became a staunch advocate for the United Nations. Number 48. Beatrice Arthur, the Marine Corps comic queen. But now you can't miss the stunning fact I'm about to show you. Who would have thought that the sassy and quick-witted Dorothy from Golden Girls had a military past? Before lighting up our screens with her hilarious one-liners, E. Arthur rocked a U.S. Marine Corps uniform in the 1940s. During 1943 and 1945, she worked as a typist and truck driver for the Marine Corps. Number 47. Studio 54. A night to remember with Gilda, Mary, and Margot. But there's more to this picture than meets the eye. Among the glittering crowd were the iconic Gilda Radner and the Hemingway sisters, Mary and Margot. Margot basked in the limelight as the world's first million-dollar supermodel at only 21 years old. Tragically, Margot's battle with depression, alcohol abuse, and eating disorders took a devastating toll, making her the fifth Hemingway family member to tragically lose their life to suicide due to an intentional overdose in 1966. Number 46. Theta Bara, Mesmerizing the Silent Screen Can I be completely honest with you? In the early days of cinema, Theta Bara sizzled on the silver screen as one of the first-ever sex symbols. With her mesmerizing performances as femme fatales, she earned the notorious nickname The Vamp, which soon became a buzzword for a woman who was a sexual predator. The same year, 1914, William Fox presented the world with the first great movie vamp, Theda Barra, whose exotic screen romance... And let's not forget the mysterious origin of Theda's stage name, which some believed spelled out Arab death in a puzzling anagram. Number 45. Betty Page. Jungle Betty and her cheetah companions. You're probably asking yourself, what makes this image so captivating? It was Betty Page who blazed onto the scene in 1950s America as the icon of liberated sexuality and body positivity. But behind the camera, her journey was a triumph over adversity. Growing up in a harsh environment, she defied the odds, earned a college degree, and became the 20th century's most photographed model. Number 44 Robin Williams in Paris. A comedy genius takes on the City of Lights. In 1994, while in Paris, he displayed his generosity and support for fellow actors by helping Ethan Hawke secure a Hollywood agent. And by calling Steven Spielberg once a week during a stand-up routine, he helped him handle the emotional heaviness of filming Schindler's List. But here's the thing. There's a hidden story behind this iconic moment captured in time. He quietly donated $50,000 to the Seattle Food Bank during the 2007 financial crisis, selflessly offering aid without seeking recognition. Number 43. Valerie Leon Walking on the set of Blood from the Mummy's Tomb 
It turns out her appearance in a series of commercials for Hai Karate Men's Aftershave may have caught the attention of the casting directors. The commercials featured a tall and curvaceous Valerie chasing a small man while enjoying the scent of the aftershave. To a ravenous creature. Oh, look out, mate! A lot of her memorable performances in James Bond films have been credited to these amusing situations. Number 42. Steve McQueen, the groovy icon. He had a rebellious past that led him to the California Junior Boys Republic School. He landed there after getting caught stealing hubcaps with a local gang in Los Angeles. I know what you're thinking. How did a troubled past lead to such an incredible transformation? A caring staff member mentored McQueen and encouraged him to channel his energy into positive goals. As his acting career took off, McQueen returned to the school to inspire and motivate the students with his success story. Number 41. Marlena Dietrich Capturing Hearts in the 50s She showed her unwavering patriotism during World War II. Born in Germany, she quickly became an American citizen and actively supported the war effort. Hello, boys. I want to say that sharing this entertainment with you today is to me more important than doing the entertaining. Her USO tours brought joy to troops stationed in Algeria, France, Italy, and Germany. Additionally, her passionate advocacy for purchasing war bonds raised over a million dollars, making her a true champion of the cause. Number 40. Judd, Michael, and Rob. Unforgettable DNC bus ride. In the wild 80s, Judd Nelson and Rob Lowe were Brat Pack regulars, but poor Michael J. Fox felt like the odd man out. Eager to be part of the club, Fox approached Lowe, asking about his invitation. Lowe, showing surprise, responded, Your invitation? Invitation to what? To join the Brat Pack, Fox said. With a sly grin, Lowe quipped, I guess it got lost in the mail. Classic Hollywood banter. Number 39. Douglas and Mary. Hollywood's golden power couple. So what's the point? Let me tell you about the enchanting love story of Hollywood's power couple in the 1920s. These two lovebirds took their honeymoon to a whole new level of glamour. When they disembarked the Red Star Cruise Line in London on their European honeymoon, they were surrounded by hordes of fans. A chauffeur drove them around Switzerland. They visited ex-Kaiser Wilhelm of Germany, and they were honored at a dinner in Paris with 200 other French actors while on the Isle of Thanet. Then they lived the high life. Sadly, their marriage didn't last, but their legendary status in Hollywood certainly did. Number 38. Bridget Bardot at her parents' house. From her humble beginnings to becoming an international sex symbol, her rise to fame was extraordinary. At just 15, she graced the cover of Elle and caught the eye of director Roger Vadim. Can I be completely honest with you? Vadim groomed her to embody all that is desirable, sensual, erotic, and immoral. With him, she broke all boundaries, starring in not one but two daring French films that shattered societal norms. Number 37. Ally McGraw. Beauty and Grace in 70. Behind the fame, she battled imposter syndrome and a turbulent marriage to Steve McQueen. Seeking solace, she dabbled in love affairs and drowned her sorrows in alcohol. It took a courageous step to the Betty Ford Clinic for her to find true peace and the sense of order she had always longed for. And from there, the real alley began to shine. Number 36. William Shatner. Captain Kirk's encounter with the Jupiter 8 car. He boldly went where no man had gone before. Little did he know that his role on Star Trek would go down in history. And let's not forget the groundbreaking moment in the 60s when he locked lips with Nichelle Nichols, Lieutenant Uhura, in the first ever interracial kiss on TV. Number 35. Tony Dow. From behind the camera to Dodger Stadium. Wally Cleaver, the cool older brother we all wanted. 
Tony Dow brought that iconic character to life in the classic show, Leave it to Beaver. But first, beware. Behind the scenes, Tony Dow faced a battle that many never would have expected. As Tony entered adulthood, he battled depression, which he believed was partly influenced by the show's success. After all, how can real life measure up to the picture-perfect Cleaver family? Life's expectations can be a tricky thing, my friends. Number 34. Melissa Sue Anderson, 1981. The thrilling journey of happy birthday to me. Don't let that innocent image fool you, my friends. She graced our screens in thrilling roles like Happy Birthday to Me and made appearances on iconic shows like The Love Boat and Murder, She Wrote. Fun fact, she could have been the leading lady in The Blue Lagoon, but opted out of the nudity, paving the way for Brooke Shields. Number 33. Louise Brooks, charming the world from her armchair. When she was just a young girl of age nine, a neighbor committed a heinous act of sexual abuse against her, leaving scars that would never fully heal. It's heartbreaking to think that such a traumatic event could impact her ability to trust and commit to relationships. But despite her personal struggles, Louise Brooks will always be remembered as an unforgettable presence in the golden age of cinema. Number 32. Rita, Caesar, and Dolores. Glamour in Beverly Hills. Oh, Caesar Romero, the suave Latin lover of Hollywood. But there's a catch. Romero had a secret. He was gay. While he publicly revealed his sexuality two years before his death, it seems that his fellow actors and actresses were already in on the secret. Romero was known as The Bachelor among Hollywood stars. And let's not forget his iconic portrayal of the Joker on Batman, where that famous mustache had to be painted over, not shaved. Talk about commitment to the role. Number 31. June Allison. A musical mom's joyful melodies. Can you believe that doctors once told her she might end up disabled? But she proved them wrong thanks to her passion for dancing and swimming. She even taught herself how to dance by obsessively watching Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers movies. Talk about dedication. John Wayne and June Allison, two of the film capital's top luminaries. Miss Allison receives her award for her outstanding work in the Glenn Miller story. From there, she skyrocketed to become one of the industry's finest singers and actresses. Number 30. Carol Lombard and Clark Gable, fans' snapshot of classic Hollywood love. Their love story was as passionate as it was tragic. They tied the knot in 1939, right in the midst of Gable filming the iconic Gone with the Wind. But here's where things get messy. According to author Robert Matson, Gable couldn't resist the charms of his 21-year-old co-star, Lana Turner, and strayed from his marriage. It's a shame because Lombard was determined to save their marriage and was flying back home when tragedy struck. She lost her life in a plane crash in 1942. Number 29. Natalie Wood. A starlet embracing the NYC skyline. Natalie Wood, the talented actress whose life ended tragically and left us with unanswered questions. We all remember her enchanting performance in Miracle on 34th Street and West Side Story. Her death in 1981 was initially ruled as an accidental drowning, but the case took a twist when the investigation was reopened in 2011. You might be wondering, what happened to Natalie Wood? Eventually, her death was attributed to drowning and other unknown factors in 2013. Also, new findings suggested a possible assault adding a layer of mystery to her untimely demise. Number 28. Betty Davis. An Oscar-winning legacy. She is known for her remarkable performances and multiple Oscar wins, but she also had a legendary rivalry with Joan Crawford. But you are, Blanche. You are in that chair. And tell me, what are these awful things I'm supposed to be doing to you? The tension between them reached its peak during the filming of Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, where Davis couldn't resist a cheeky move. She installed a Coca-Cola machine on set, 
knowing full well that Crawford's late husband was CEO of Pepsi. Talk about throwing shade in the most delicious way possible. Number 27. Leslie Caron, Gene Kelly, and Donald O'Connor. Behind the scenes of Singing in the Rain. Leslie Caron, the talented star of Hollywood, carried a heavy burden from her past. Tragedy struck when her mother succumbed to alcoholism and took her own life after World War II. Caron also reflected on the shame felt by the people of France during the war, as they were unable to resist the German occupation. Number 26. Sonny and Cher, rocking the UK in the 60s. Sonny and Cher, the iconic duo behind I Got You Babe, had a roller coaster of a relationship. Babe. I got you, babe. Cher's daddy issues and Sonny's constant infidelity put a strain on their marriage from the start. Despite her mother's insight, Cher's love for Sonny was unshakable. Love can be a wild ride after all. Number 25. Bela Lugosi, serving in the Austro-Hungarian army. A word of caution, Lugosi carried a haunting secret from his time in the military, a secret that he rarely discussed. Behind the scenes, Bela Lugosi, renowned for his chilling performance as Dracula, carried a haunting secret. Before his Hollywood career, he served in the Austro-Hungarian army during World War I, but he rarely spoke of his experiences. You're probably asking yourself, what was Lugosi's secret? On the set of The Black Cat, Lugosi shocked his fellow cast and crew members by revealing that he had been a hangman during the war, leaving him with conflicting emotions of thrill and guilt. Number 24. Gene Harlow, the glamorous icon of the 30s. The iconic blonde bombshell of Hollywood pursued acting reluctantly driven by her mother's influence, who was known as Mother Jean. Her health battles, including meningitis and scarlet fever, plagued her early life at the age of five. Jean Harlow has died. The world of moviegoers mourned the vivacious blonde bombshell who has died of uremic poisoning in the very flower of her youth. Tragically, she passed away in 1937 from uremic poisoning and kidney failure, a consequence of her previous bout with scarlet fever. Number 23, Buster Keaton and Jackie Cooper, a dynamic duo on the silver screen. Buster Keaton, famously known for his impeccable physical comedy, earned his unique name through a chance encounter with Harry Houdini as a six-month-old baby. Surviving a fall down the stairs unharmed, Houdini dubbed him Buster. Growing up in a vaudeville family, Buster endured countless pratfalls and stunts, honing his skills for the silent movie era where his slapstick brilliance would shine. Number 22. Grace Kelly An impressive portrait by Milton Green Grace Kelly, a Hollywood legend, gracefully transitioned from acting to becoming the Princess of Monaco at the age of 26. Although her son Prince Albert stated that she would have loved to continue acting, she understood her royal responsibilities. While her husband supported her return to the movies, Grace acknowledged the significant changes in the industry since her time. Number 21. Greta Garbo, the iconic star and MGM's Roaring Lion. You can't miss this stunning fact I'm about to reveal. Capturing a moment of both nerves and excitement, the iconic photo of Greta Garbo with MGM's lion mascot, Leo, marked the introduction of the Swedish star to Hollywood. Leo was MGM's third lion mascot, trained by Volney Pfeiffer. The image served as a thrilling publicity stunt to generate buzz around the 19-year-old Garbo's arrival in the United States from Sweden in the 20s. Number 20. Judy Garland and Liza Minnelli, a mother-daughter bond. Liza Minnelli's path to stardom was almost predestined, as her mother, Judy Garland, saw her potential from an early age. However, fame comes with its challenges, and their relationship was tested by Garland's struggle with finances, addiction, mental health, and even suicide attempts. Despite it all, Minnelli held her mother in high regard. 
cherishing the memory of a seemingly perfect figure in her life. Number 19. Dorothy Dandridge Captivating the Lens of Life Magazine Her nomination as the first black woman for a Best Actress Oscar and appearance on the cover of Life Magazine marked significant milestones. However, behind her success lay heartbreak. I'll reveal it in a second. She faced the challenges of raising her daughter, Harolyn Suzanne Lynn Nichols, with severe intellectual disabilities and ended up giving Lynn to a caretaker. She also faced racism at that time. Tragically, the young woman, 42, overdosed on substances to soothe her melancholy and died shortly thereafter. Number 18. Randolph Scott. Handsome charisma at home in the 30s. He had a special bond with his equine co-star, Stardust. The magnificent Palomino horse stole the show in numerous Western films alongside Scott throughout the 50s to the 60s. Fans were captivated by their on-screen chemistry, prompting them to send letters to Scott, eagerly inquiring about his beloved four-legged partner. Number 17. Anne Bancroft and Mel Brooks. Love and laughter captured in the 80s. A Hollywood power couple staying married for an impressive 41 years until Bancroft's passing in 2005. They collaborated on multiple films, and in a 2013 interview, Brooks revealed that his favorite film was the 1942 classic, To Be or Not To Be. Why? Well, he simply cherished the opportunity to spend a whole 24 hours with his beloved Bancroft. Number 16. Ringo Starr and Peter Sellers having fun on the Magic Christian set. They found themselves in the company of an all-star cast, including John Cleese, Raquel Welch, Roman Polanski, and Yul Brynner. Reflecting on his dual life as a Beatle and a family man, Ringo humorously said, I try to keep two lives going. One is only to do with me and mine, and the other is to do with those and thine. I agree to give them the Beatle Ringo, but the Richie I prefer to keep for my family. Number 15. Audrey Hepburn – A Stylish Stroll with Mr. Famous During World War II, young Audrey experienced the horrors of Nazi-occupied Holland. Her father left her when she was just six years old, leaving her with her mother. Audrey herself became a volunteer nurse, attending to wounded soldiers in an allied hospital. Times were tough, my friend. So tough, in fact, that they resorted to eating tulip bulbs just to stave off hunger. Can you imagine? From tulip bulbs to red carpets, Audrey's journey is truly remarkable. Number 14. Groucho Marx A Walk to School with Melinda Did you know that Groucho's original plan wasn't to make us laugh till our sides hurt? Oh, hold me closer. 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 I'll hold you any closer, I'll be in back of you. Nope, he actually had dreams of becoming a doctor. But life had other plans. Among his five brothers, he was the third. Growing up in poverty, his family couldn't afford to keep him in school past the tender age of 12. So, Groucho traded his textbooks for showbiz and became the hilarious legend we know today. Number 13. Ava Gardner. Radiant Nights at Ciro's Nightclub in the 50s. But let's not forget about the mastermind behind this hot spot, Billy Wilkerson. This guy knew how to cater to the rich and famous, and boy, did he spare no expense. Phone jacks at every table for those oh-so-important calls. A dazzling spotlight that made every star feel like a million bucks and even a secret gambling parlor tucked away in the back for those who wanted to try their luck. Wilkerson knew how to keep the party going and make sure everyone had a night they'd never forget. Also, he had a hardcore addiction to gambling. Number 12. Robert Montgomery and Elizabeth A Stork Club Connection You may remember her as the charming Samantha on Bewitched, but boy, did she break free from that lovable image. Her Hollywood career began with the popular series Robert Montgomery Presents. She was nominated for Emmy Awards for some intense roles, like playing a rape victim in A Case of Rape, 
and portraying the murderous killer Lizzie Borden in The Legend of Lizzie Borden. Number 11. James Dean and Burl Ives On the set of East of Eden, they came together to bring John Steinbeck's tale of sibling rivalry to life. A word of caution, he died unexpectedly shortly after the film was released, earning him a posthumous Oscar nomination and a permanent place in the pantheon of cool. The legend of James Dean lives on, forever embodying the essence of effortless cool. Number 10. Lou Costello and Bud Abbott Comedy duo's timeless laughter. They left an indelible mark with their iconic routine, Who's on First? Well, said none yet. Go ahead and tell me. Who's on first? What's on second? I don't know who's on third. You know the guy's I'll... names on the baseball team? Yes. Well, go ahead. Who's on first? Yes. I mean the guy's name. Who Radio producers doubted its appeal, fearing audiences would miss the punchline. But audiences proved them wrong, laughing their way through the timeless wordplay. Turns out we're all game for a good chuckle and a masterful who's on first. Number 9. Van Dyke and Howes Relaxing in Bavaria while filming Chitty Chitty Bang Bang While recovering from a heart attack, Ian Fleming wrote this classic children's book, which was later adapted for film by Ronald Dahl. During this time, Fleming's son Casper told him James Bond was more popular than him, so he wrote a series called The Magical Car. Casper was 12 when Fleming passed away, and this incident affected him so deeply that it instigated his suicide by drug overdose at the age of 23. Number 8. Jaws, 1975. The Fear That Gripped the Nation in a chilling and iconic moment on the set of Jaws in 1975, director Steven Spielberg found himself laying in the menacing jaws of Bruce, the animatronic shark specially designed for the film. I know what you're thinking. How could Spielberg put himself in such a perilous position? It was a risky move, but Spielberg's dedication to creating a thrilling masterpiece knew no bounds. Little did he know that this terrifying scene would forever etch itself into the minds of audiences worldwide, solidifying Jaws as a timeless classic of suspense and horror. Number 7. Gloria Swanson The dazzling star of silent cinema She wasn't just a silent film star, she was a force of nature. From beginnings as an extra, she climbed the Hollywood ladder to become one of the industry's biggest names. But it was her unforgettable portrayal of Norma Desmond in Sunset Boulevard that blurred the line between fiction and reality. Life, which can be strangely merciful, had taken pity on Norma Desmond. Fans couldn't help but wonder, was she the actress or the real Norma Desmond? Number 6. Marlon Brando at Grandmother's Haven Marlon Brando, the legendary actor of the Godfather fame, had a whimsical side that not many knew about. From claiming to be born in Calcutta to Bangkok to China, Brando had a penchant for creating fictional stories. Also, he said he had a Great Dane who ate dehydrated dog food. As he grew older, he even joined online chat rooms to engage in spirited arguments with strangers. Retirement from acting? Not for this eccentric storyteller. Wells passed away in 2004. Number 5. Shirley Temple Sporting excellence on the tennis court in the 30s A breast cancer survivor, activist, and United Nations delegate, Shirley Temple lived every moment to the fullest until her death in 2014. But before she became America's sweetheart, she danced her way through some cringeworthy films like Baby Burlesques. Let's just say her early roles were, um, questionable, involving exchanging kisses for candy, and even a three-year-old exotic dancer. Number 4. Manis the Orangutan and Clint Eastwood – A Behind-the-Scenes Connection Clint Eastwood's on-screen partnership with Manis the Orangutan brought joy to audiences in every which way but loose. A word of caution. Behind the scenes of the sequel, a tragic incident unfolded. As the ape returned to his day job at a Vegas show for a sequel, 
Buddha, the younger orangutan cast, suffered a cruel fate at the hands of his abusive trainer for eating just a donut. Thankfully, today's film industry takes animal welfare seriously, ensuring the safety and well-being of animal actors. Want to know the best part? Here we go. Number 3. Hedy Lamar and Marlena Dietrich – A Kiss Captured in Time When Hedy Lamar and Marlena Dietrich puckered up for a kiss on the set of A Foreign Affair, you could practically hear the jaws hitting the floor. It was scandalous, it was daring, and it was 1948. But here's the thing, Hedy Lamar was more than just a seductive screen siren. In fact, she and composer George Antiel patented a freaking torpedo system for U-boats that would have made James Bond blush. Number 2. Walt Disney – A Portrait of the Magical Mastermind Walt Disney, the creative mastermind behind beloved characters and magical worlds, had a heart as big as his imagination. He'd chauffeur his daughters to school, making sure they felt loved and supported. Disney's housekeeper was also like a family member. Unfortunately, even the most magical of lives can have dark moments. He gifted his parents with a brand new house and sent his own studio member to fix any damage. Sadly, Walt's mother died from carbon monoxide poisoning in 1938 because of an incorrectly repaired furnace that broke down. Number 1. Marilyn Monroe – A Tender Moment with Milton Green's Son so what's the point? They weren't just friends, they were a dynamic duo, partners in crime. And I saw the most beautiful pictures I'd ever seen. And I said I'd like for this photographer to photograph me. When boredom struck, they hatched a plan. Raiding the 20th Century Fox costume department, Marilyn, the ultimate fashion icon, slipped into different outfits while Milton's camera went clickety-click. It was a Sunday afternoon full of laughter, mischief, and unforgettable snapshots. Talk about making memories that'll last a lifetime. Whew! We've reached the end of our eerie ride through Hollywood's infamous past. But don't worry, there's always more to explore in the world of movies. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more exciting stories from the glamorous world of Hollywood. Until next time, stay tuned.